Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Wangil Zalal and bringing you the story. There's a new app. The new app is a, f a black owned app and it is created to help to protect black people from police brutality. You might ask how, right? Um, so the way they create, it's actually available now on Android and iOS. So let's say you get pulled over and you don't know what you have done and it's a, in a place where you're not comfortable, maybe there are not a lot of people around. So what you can do is as soon as you get pulled over, you uh, there's a when you click on the app, there's an option that says, I've been stopped by a police. So when you click on that, it takes it, it starts recording on its own live stream it and then contact the people that you put in there, the emergency people, the, the people that you put in as your emergency contacts, it will just call them automatically and your video is being saved as it's being streamed and also your uh, family members or the friends that you have put in, in in that app as your emergency contact list they get that call and they get to see what's happening to you so even if that police officer comes and acts or pretends that you're not complying it's being recorded it's being filmed and also your family members are around to alert police officers or to meddle in or know the right information or discourage the police officer from doing anything else because he knows he's being watched or he knows it's being recorded so most likely he might now bring it down a bit if he would have went crazy on that man now he he's aware that he's being recorded and they can use that against them in the future so um that's what they had in mind when they were creating this app to help uh black people from facing this in america in the united states so um i think this is wonderful i think it's creative i i like the fact that they thought about this because this is a, a big deal like we're hearing oh, every now and again that a black man with no no guns in sight he's unarmed but then he gets shot and he dies um and this is really unnecessary and i am glad somebody's doing something to contribute to the community like this i think it's wonderful and the beauty in this is it's black owned um so you know it's coming from a good place it's trying to help uh the young men that are being killed and it's just disheartening to see how many black men are just dying for no reason and the unfortunate thing is now we're seeing it because of social media it, it just i wonder how many men have died and n nothing was done because there's no evidence because there's nobody was filming it nobody was recording it so the cops get away with it they say he had a gun or he tried to fight me so i had to do this in self-defense there's nothing to back up the innocent man that died so people will take it in and the cops won't be fired they won't face the justice system so we move along and even now with social media being there and people hearing about it there's not like you would assume there will be a verdict real quick the cop will pay the price and that's not how it's going and it's really disheartening to see this happening because if there's evidence like look at george floyd we saw on camera what happened but it's still in court somehow they're trying to convince us that it's not him that did that killed him it's not the cop it's actually something a drug overdose or something like that so they're playing with our minds they're telling us that what we saw is not actually what happened it's not real and all of us at the same time are hallucinating something like that and this was recorded live and there were people around imagine so as much as this might not save every black man or everybody that might get stopped and face this at least somebody might be saved because there might be cops that will be scared to lose their jobs or people finding out what they're doing so it might bring down their aggressiveness a little bit you know because you know they want to act some kind of way in front of the camera when they know that they're being filmed uh, yeah we all we could do is hope for the best but at least this these guys are coming up with something to help so that's something we need to appreciate anyways guys do let us know down below if you heard about this app if you're going to download it and if you think it's going to make much difference let us know i am on gilza lalem bringing you the story i'll see you on the next one Bye.